Hi. Welcome to Math Den. A series of math topics tutorials. This covers algebra, geometry, trigonometry, probability, statistics, calculus, and business mathematics. Today's topic is the process of solving rational equations. How to solve a rational equation? This is finding the value or values of x that satisfies the equation. Take note of the step-by-step -step procedure. This is the continuation of the topic, solving rational equation. This time, we have another example. Solve for the value of x of this rational equation. x over x plus 2 minus 1 over x minus 2 is equal to 8 over x squared minus 4. The first step on this example is to factor all the denominator. There is no need to factor x plus 2 and x minus 2. But x squared minus 4 has a factor of x plus 2 and x minus 2. Review the topics of factoring. Next, determine the LCD and multiply it to both sides of the equation. On this case, the denominators are x plus 2 x minus 2 and x plus 2 times x minus 2. Their LCD is x plus 2 times x minus 2. Because it can be divided by x plus 2, it can be divided by x minus 2. And it can be divided by itself. Then multiply their LCD to each expression x plus 2 times x minus 2 times x over x plus 2 x plus 2 times x minus 2 times negative 1 over x minus 2 and x plus 2 times x minus 2 times 8 over x plus 2 times x minus 2 then simplify the equation on this part the answer is x minus 2 times x because x plus 2 will be divided. On this part, the answer is negative x plus 2 times 1 because x minus 2 will be divided. And on this part, the answer is 8 because x plus 2 and x minus 2 will be divided. Simplify further and solve for x. This part will be x squared minus 2x. This part will be negative x minus 2. And 8 is just 8. Transpose 8 to the left side, so it can be combined with negative 2. Combine like terms. Negative 2x minus x is negative 3x, while negative 2 minus 8 is negative 10. That is, x squared minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0. Since it became quadratic equation, follow the steps on solving quadratic equation. We can use factoring here. Because x squared minus 3x minus 10 has factors x plus 2 and x minus 5. Equate each factor to 0. So, the possible values are negative 2 and positive 5. But, take note of this. Since negative 2 will make the original equation undefined, negative 2 is not an answer. Therefore, the only solution for the given equation is x is equal to 5. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more video tutorials.